Hello everybody. Today we are going to be working on this corner of the dining room because I think it's really bad. <laughs> There's multiple things that I think are not working in this corner. The first is the window. We have hypothesized in other videos what the window from the dining room to the kitchen may be for, but whatever it was for, it's here, it's awesome, and it's being blocked off, which I don't like. So I have a really exciting idea for that which involves stained glass. Um, the second thing is this giant cabinet. I bought this giant cabinet. <laughs> I've got regrets about the giant cabinet. I bought the giant cabinet before I knew what this room was going to be. It was before I had done anything to the house. I was just at an antique market. I saw the giant cabinet. I got excited. I bought it. I just thought it'll fit somewhere and it's never really fit anywhere, and I still have not given up hope. I think it will fit somewhere, but I don't think it fits here. It makes this corner of the room look really dark, and it just cluttered, it's too big, it doesn't work. The third thing is that this is where I keep some of my coffee things, but not all of them. I make coffee every single morning. <laughs> I will be lying there like, I don't wanna get up. And then I think about making my cup of coffee and I'm like, actually, I will get up because I enjoy making coffee, I enjoy drinking coffee, but right now my system is a disaster. Like I have my mugs here, my coffee grinder that I just got for my birthday here and then, or no, for Christmas, and then I've got my coffee beans here, but then in the kitchen, I have my kettle on one side. I have my coffee filters in a random drawer. I have my coffee machine on a shelf. Like everything is spread out and I would love for everything that is coffee and tea related. Right, and the tea bags are in a totally different zone. I would love for everything coffee and tea related to be in the same place. I think it would be very pleasant. And then the final problem is behind this cabinet. You just saw the struggle I went through. Clearly, it should be easier to access the electrical panel. This was never a permanent solution, but now it's been many, many months of having this cabinet in front of it. It's not working. And so, I am going to do two major things today. Well, not today, in this video. The first thing is going to be creating a fake cover for the electrical panel that I can easily open and close that disguises the panel but makes it easily accessible. The second thing I'm going to be doing is creating a coffee bar, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> Over a year ago now, I purchased this cabinet. It's sitting out in my back room because I purchased it to be the new sink for the upstairs bathroom. Now this was before I found the secret room in the bathroom, which has completely changed my, my plan, my layout, and that cabinet no longer really makes sense up in the bathroom. And so I've been thinking like, could it still fit? What am I gonna do with that cabinet? And then inspiration struck. That cabinet could be the coffee bar. So that's my plan. <laughs> I'm going to dig it out of everything that I have accidentally covered it with in the last year because it's sitting in, sitting in the back room. So naturally it became a spot for tools to clear it out, move it in here and make it into a coffee bar. I'm not just going to be bringing the cabinet in though. I'm definitely going to need some shelving. So that's going to be the big construction-y bit part of this project. I need to build some shelves. I'm looking forward to making a cup of coffee, sitting down here, looking out the windows, feeling peaceful. <gasps> Spending time with Max. And overall, just having a lovely calm time, a reflective moment in the day, some could say. Much like the reflection <laughs> you can get from today's sponsor, Day One. Day One Journal is today's sponsor and I'm so happy to be working with them because they're already the journaling app that I used. I paid money to use this app months ago because it's awesome. <laughs> and then they reached out and asked to work with me and I was like, yes, please. 
You guys are great. The thing that got me onto day one journal was the calendar view. Like it's such a simple thing, but that's what I like about day one journal. They do so many of the simple things that for some reason other places aren't doing and they do them really well. One of my favorite features is that it works across devices. So oftentimes I just want to jot something down on my phone and I'll open up the app and I'll, I'll do that. But other times you want to journal a little bit more leisurely. So come over to my computer. I could be on Final Cut when I was removing the carpet in the kitchen. I can always just come up to the top here, click this tiny journal entry thing, write my entry. The carpet scares me. <laughs> and then click save and boom. Like that, I don't have to worry. It is on my journal now, it's on my phone app, it's a cross-platform, so simple. If you wanna try out day one journal, go to dayoneapp.com forward slash Ariel Bousset and you will get two months of free premium so you can try everything out. The link is down in the description. Thank you to day one for teaming up with me on this video. Let's go start building this coffee nook. Okay, the first move is to remove this cabinet. So I have to empty it which I'm not looking forward to, but that's fine. There's just so many mugs. <laughs> okay, all the mugs are gone. is such a beautiful piece of furniture. Right now, I'm scared that it's too big, and that it juts out too far, which might just be because I'm not used to seeing it here. Um, but look at how lovely this is. Like, it opens up in so many interesting ways. And it's got this great top drawer. I love this little detail on the back. I just the little inlay cuts are beautiful. Like it's gorgeous. Right now it feels like, is it too big? But I feel like that's the benefit of it because it can fit lots of stuff. So if we, for example, put the coffee bean grinder and a lot of these things would hopefully go up on shelves, like here and here, for example, but beans, I'll even grab the coffee machines. I mainly use my Chemex. So I feel like that's what would be here. And then this could be on a shelf here or here, or conveniently, I could put it in a drawer. Um, what do we think? I kind of feel like maybe it would be better if it was twisted the other way, but I don't think we'd want this under the electrical panel. So there's two problems here. Problem number one is that it doesn't actually quite fit between the wall and the windowsill. Problem number two is that, like I said, it's under the electrical panel, so that's probably bad. But maybe it looks better? Hmm. The next phase is intense deliberation. <laughs> I need to just think for a couple of hours and then I'm gonna decide on the orientation. I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna have lunch. I'm gonna to go to my piano lesson and then I'm gonna share a design idea with you <laughs> once I've figured out what it is.
Okay, it's time for the always exciting <laughs> first sip. Nailed it. <laughs> I also have some banana bread here that I made the other day because my mom really wanted banana bread. I was like, all right, <laughs> we're making it. I'm so glad that I did this little test this morning because it truly proved that this is lovely. That was a nice corner to spend some time in. And sitting here in this chair in between waiting times is really nice. Things didn't go exactly as I thought they would yesterday, but I think we've gotten to a really cool place, actually. I envisioned the uh, coffee bar going over there, but when I put it there, it just looked way too crowded. It looked like door, mantelpiece, cabinet. It looked stacked in a weird way. It just didn't feel balanced. I tried moving it to this corner and the balance was there, <laughs> this elusive balance. And when you walk in, it makes a really pretty impression. Obviously right now things don't look ideal because we've got this big mess. We've got that is all open and everything. But I think you can agree with me like, the chair with the plant and the mantelpiece, this looks harmonious. <laughs> and then this corner now looks harmonious. Now we have to talk about where we go from here because I've made an important strategic mistake. <laughs> you may have noticed throughout this video signs of rabbits, eggs. It's because it's Easter and it's the Easter weekend. Well, today is Good Friday and I didn't realize it was a holiday because I'm self-employed and I'm not Christian. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a day off and now I can't go buy any wood. So I'm, I'm bummed because I really wanted to prioritize doing the, the electrical panel cover behind me. But there are other things that I can do. The first is the stained glass project because I've, I was imagining that as a finishing touch, but I'm so excited about it that I, I think I just want to do it today. I'm going to drink this. I'm gonna enjoy my little coffee morning moment and then we'll get started on some work. <sighs> Look at it! <laughs> oh my God! I got an email a while ago, now it was almost a year ago, um, from a subscriber who works in stained glass and she wanted to make a stained glass artwork for my house. She designed it exactly to size for that space and when we were discussing design like what we would actually want to depict i was like i want an homage <laughs> to the ducks in the swamp uh, which i saw this morning by the way so this is so stunning so beautiful and i'm so excited to hang it because i've had it for ages now but it's finally time so it's gonna look a little like that which will be so beautiful. Because it's such a perfect fit, I might actually just, yeah. I'm just gonna measure it like this. Heck yeah. It's time, I hope I measured that right. The big reveal, please. Oh, yep, it just needs to twist. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Señorita, puse el stained glass. Lo tenés que ver. Sí, qué lindo quedó. Va. Bien bonito. Quedó perfecto. Yeah. We've had a crack in the case. I have the panel. So my dad actually was able to grab this today and they cut it to size we might have to trim it a little bit but that's great and then i went to the hardware store and i'm very excited i got a piano hinge so this can run along there and i got you know little screws i forgot to get magnets which i want to have little magnets on this side so that it kind of clicks shut but that's fine I can get that later. Um, 
The important thing is that I start painting today. Good morning, everyone. It's a few days later and we need to finish this. There reaches a certain point in every renovation project where you're like, that's it. I'm sick of it. I just don't care how much work I need to do. I'm gonna grind today. So today is that day I've reached my breaking point. I want to push really hard today to hopefully get it done. If not, like go to sleep with the knowledge that I can definitely finish it tomorrow morning without a shadow of a doubt. And so we're starting with some good news. I'm so, so excited. The painting came. I am so excited. <laughs> I love a finishing touch. I love a little finishing detail and I really wanted a really lovely painting to hang above that chair corner. Um, originally I thought it would be above the Originally I thought it would be above the coffee bar, but now it'll be above the chair. And I think that will be just as wonderful, just as beautiful. The important thing is just adding a lovely detail to that electrical panel cover, which right now looks quite bare. Oh, it's beautiful. Now the big question is, do I have a frame that it fits in? I think I might. <laughs> I have bunch of frames because I just like buy them when I'm thrifting this one or randomly I don't love this frame it's kind of just a cheap white frame I don't have a mat for it so that's a big problem but also it's good that this one's so light because the thing that I'm hanging this all on is quite light okay that one fits really well it's kind of longer than I think it is I think it's gonna be too too long. What about... Ooh, let's say three inches too short. So I'd have to cut a lot off, which that's probably a sin. <laughs> okay, we've had a breakthrough. It's, again, I'm doing... <laughs> It's like I'm fixing one problem by causing another problem. This was hanging in the hallway. It's just from Ikea, so I feel fairly certain that I would be able to just buy another one. But guys, it's a perfect fit. Look, that's ideal. We're doing this. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Ooh, I am gonna have to chop a little bit. Thankfully, I've gone a little crazy with my bookmaking and I actually own <laughs> a pretty intense paper cutter. <laughs> so, 
I love this thing. Bring up the gate. I'm going to start with cutting the top. Lower the gate and chop. A perfect cut. <laughs> okay, it's been trimmed. Hopefully it fits. Yes, we're in. And now, <gasps> it's beautiful. This is gonna be perfect. Yay! Okay, everyone, it is late at night. Well, it's not late. It's, it's eight minutes till nine o'clock. And like I said earlier, I don't wanna go to bed until I know <laughs> that tomorrow this thing will be over. And so the last thing I wanna tackle is these shelves. I had a breakthrough. <laughs> it was only earlier today. Like when I woke up this morning, I thought I was gonna build whole new shelves, rip these out, do a whole song and dance. And then I stopped for a second. And I thought when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When life gives you built-in shelves that you worked hard to install years ago, just put your mugs on them. Like, I, I don't know why I was being so stubborn. Like, no, I've got to build my own shelves. Like, I've got to custom make these shelves. I could, but I also don't have to. These work great. I don't, my mom kept saying it. My mom was like, I don't get why you don't just use the ones that are already there. I was like, no, because I, I think I want to make brand new ones. And I'm like, Actually, these are great. And now that I've lived with them for a few days, they're working great. The only thing is that they don't have enough mug space. Like I have a lot of mugs, I love mugs, and I don't love how few mugs this allows me to display. So I went out and bought a bunch of cup hooks and I got the vinyled ones so that they have, you know, like a little plasticky layer on them so that they mesh nicely with a ceramic mug. Beautiful. I also got these, again, on recommendation from my mom at the dollar store, as opposed to the hardware store. And I'm like, it's one of those moments. The dollar store was selling a six pack of these for $1.25. The hardware store was selling a two pack of these for $5. Like, the screw top on it was a little too long. So my dad helped me, he cut off all the tops of them. So now they won't, they won't go through too far. And now I'm just here measuring out exactly where I need to drill the holes so that I can screw these in and hang up the cups. Okay, the moment of truth. Yes, okay, here we go. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> okay, let's skip to the end. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! It looks phenomenal. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. I think it looks wonderful. So I don't even know if this camera angle really shows it well. You know, it does. It looks great. Okay, so I'm really thrilled with this. I'm going to put away my tools, tidy up this space, 
work on editing the video for a bit and then go to sleep and then in the morning we will do the reveal and make a cup of coffee. A drink of victory. <laughs> I think this project turned out so well. I'm thrilled. What a wonderful, beautiful place to spend my first thing in the morning. I know I'm going to look forward to waking up in the morning, coming downstairs in a sleepy haze and spending a moment in this corner, which is not actually as dark as it seems. I've had to like close all my curtains because it's very bright in this room, but the exposure is being destroyed by these two massive windows that flank this corner. It's making this seem really dark and the windows seem overly bright. So anyway, it's actually a very nice brightness in here. <laughs> Normally in the mornings, I wouldn't have a pretty dress on, but it's the last shot of the video. And also I wanted to match the girl in the illustration of the painting that I bought. I thought we could match in our pretty old dresses and uh, little coffee bar stations. I think the corner where the chair is, is just stunning and is definitely a place where I'm going to spend time. And I know that because over the last week, I've been sitting in that chair a lot. It is such a good sign when you already start using a space, even when it's not done yet, because it means that it is inviting and something about it is making sense. So I'm loving that new corner and it's underneath the stunning custom glass that was made for that space by the wonderful, incredible Anne Agath, who I will link down in the description. Definitely check her out. Thank you, Anne, for that beautiful piece of work. It's so gorgeous. And because it was, this all happened over the Easter week, we actually had guests come for Easter. And every time someone stepped into this room, the first thing they said was, where'd you get that stained glass? Like everyone loves it. So it's beautiful. I love the solution for the electrical panel. Last week I had a bunch of hot water tank problems. <laughs> and we had to keep shutting the power off and I had to keep moving that massive cabinet over every time, which is so silly. Now, just use the handle, open it up, easy, close it, use the magnets and it nicely clicks into place. Perfection. Thank you so much to Day One Journal for sponsoring this video. I actually think I'm gonna go journal right now. I'm just gonna write a little entry about winning, <laughs> about celebrating the wins, about being like, okay, We've had a lot on our plate, but we did accomplish this project. I'm gonna write that down. If you wanna check them out, they are linked down in the description. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.